Hello everyone, welcome to VG's Astro. Today I'm going to be talking about Moon in the 4th house. And if you want a paid consultation, do drop an email. I will be happy to give you a personalized reading. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe below. So let's look at what the Moon is all about. Moon in Vedic Astrology represents the Mother. Moon represents the Mind and Personality. Moon controls the element of life, which is nothing but water. And Moon represents emotions, the changing nature whenever you see a fickle-minded person who's unable to stick to choices that can be attributed to the position of the moon in his chart moon represents purity of nature moon represents nourishment so when moon gets afflicted you could say that he's not getting enough nourishment moon represents comfort home and motherland overseas travel fertility fresh and new perspectives like the ebb and flow of perspectives mirroring the waxing and waning phases of the moon. Moon also represents mother's teaching. So you can see that there's a gamut of things that moon represents, but this is only the tip of the iceberg. There is so much more to the moon. It's pretty much impossible for me to cover all the aspects of the moon, but these are the main significations of the moon. And let's look at the fourth house. Fourth house represents the mother, the mindset. It represents the property, land that you own, your home life, your comforts, emotions, your domestic life. It also represents your homeland, the foundation of your education, the chest, breast, and fluids in your body as per medical astrology. It represents the tradition and also the teammates of work. So you can see that there is a lot of overlapping signification between the fourth house as well as the moon's signification itself. So in astrology, when planets and houses share similar meanings, instead of blending in, they uh, tend to augment each other. Uh, blending can possibly happen between sign and the planet. It could happen between two different planets like Mars and Sun who pretty much have similar energies but they do blend in but when it comes to houses and planets they don't necessarily blend in. They do augment each other and they kind of amplify the effects of that house. So this amplification can create uh, problems as excessive uh, signification of something is always going to create a problem. So that is why we say that an excess of something or anything for that matter is never really good. So this is captured by the aphorism Karako Baba Nashaha. So what this means is that when a planet sits in a house with similar signification, it's going to destroy the house. This is what it literally means. So you can at least think that this is going to disrupt or harm those aspects of that house, if not completely destroy that house. And most people, what they agree upon is that when Moon is in the fourth house, it's going to affect the relationship with the mother uh, more than it would affect the comfort, the conveyances, or the convenience that the person gets to enjoy in life. So that is because when moon goes into the fourth house there is a possibility that there there will be an excessive tendency of parental influence on the person which he's not going to like or there's going to be a dissatisfaction with the maternal role he's not going to be satisfied he or she is not going to be satisfied with the role played by the mother so there's going to be a a uh, distant relationship between the individual and their mother, at least on a mental level. While this primarily affects the mother, what I've seen from experience is that it also, in a way, affects the home life, comfort, and conveyances as well. And But that is one of degree, not an absolute knockdown of these significations. So if you have Moon in the fourth house, do leave a comment below. Tell me whether it's going to affect all the significations or whether it's only affecting one of those significations and I will be happy to understand more about Moon in the Fourth. 
and individuals with moon in the fourth house might have a fondness for sweet foods but as it is with the fourth house they may already be suffering from uh, diabetes or any kind of problem related to excessive consumption of sugar research has shown that people who consume a lot of sugar may have uh, an upset liver or uh, uh, this could also aggravate uh, tonsillitis or pharyngitis so a range of things are associated with consumption of too much sugar so that that is something that they need to be careful about and generally what I've seen with this placement is that most people who have more in the fourth house get a lot of nourishing foods they have a penchant for diet and fitness routine so they tend to uh, indulge in the best of foods and, and that is where they create that balance they include a lot of raw vegetables uh, uh, they're also interested in uh, exercise yoga or any other kind of fitness routine that keeps them fit and healthy and people with the fourth house moon can also have a fondness for good vehicles and a preference for clean energy due to the moon's association with purity and its reflection of the solar energy so that's quite possible that they are uh, inclined to purchase a vehicle which is run on clean energy and uh, property inheritance is another aspect they may actually be inheriting large landed properties from their mother or their maternal side or they may have a beautiful house where they enjoy all the comforts in life and they have such a strong attachment to home and this might even drive them to take risks in various aspects of life to return to that place so even if they're serving in the military organization they're posted away from their home and the only way to get back home is to finish the war if there is a condition that the only way to return back home is by finishing the war they're going to go to that extent to finish that war and get back home that is how much the home life has an influence on these people but one thing that these guys are going to miss out on is seeing their children away from their homes uh, either due to uh, educational pursuits or work obligations uh, their children might almost always stay away from their home life so they're going to be left longing to see the presence of their children in their homes and moon in the fourth can also give a, an affinity to water linking the moon's representation of water with the fourth houses association with the chest and bodily fluids but remember excessive water related activities or consumption might lead to health issues and uh, also related to fluid buildup or electrolyte imbalance in the body while the moon in the fourth house brings many positive aspects moderation is crucial as excessive influence can lead to challenges so you may be wondering why is it that I haven't spoken anything positive about moon in the fourth house that is because moon's position in the fourth house gives an abundance of positive traits and that is why it's important to highlight that these people need to exercise caution and moderation uh, otherwise they're going to have a tough time in keeping the problems that arise as a result of excessive indulgence okay so that's all for today if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe below and uh if you like this video do sh do give it a thumbs up and share this with your friend and i will see you guys again with another new video very soon